is going on everybody thanks for tuning in to another video got a real good one here for you today down in East Tennessee a buddy of mine Jason and I decided to head down there and uh, we got us an Airbnb which I would recommend it was crazy cheap $15 a day between everybody we had we had four other guys come down and meet us there um, later in the week uh, Jason and his son Ezra and Jeff and Ken, a great group of guys, good riders. Um, they will be in the next video. Today is our first day, and John and Drew are our guides today from Tennessee. And we also have a, another. This is another big group today. The whole trip was awesome. We had we had the best guides, um, best trip I've ever done. It was just sweet. But today, Drew, right here in front of me, was guiding us. John is uh, following up the tail end of the group, just if we have any laggers, nobody gets lost. But uh, The train's awesome. As you can see, it's really rocky. We're um, in the foothills of Appalachia, and the rocks are crazy. Like, it's just, uh, you know, I'm from Michigan, and we don't have many rocks unless you go up to the UP, like Marquette area, um, where you can ride some rocks. But, uh, yeah, there's just rocks everywhere. In fact, our guide, John, that I was talking about, he fell later in the first day, and my GoPro had already died, but he cut his hand really bad. Um, as you can see here, he ended up having to get 12 stitches, so he was done for the trip, which really, really kind of sucks, as I was looking forward to doing some more riding with him. Um, he's a pretty good rider. He rides a Shirko 300, I believe it's 2018. Um, like I said, we got Drew up here in front of us. Um, that's Jason in front of me and then Drew in front of him and Drew also has a YouTube channel if you want to check it out uh, it's called Drew V um, and uh, go over there and uh, subscribe to that got some great videos um, Drew is a veteran and uh, before he had that YZ250 he had a RM450 a newer one with fuel injection and if, if you can believe Air Forks, he rode that these trails, um, and you can see on his channel, um, he rode all these mountain trails, hard enduro type stuff on that bike, which is uh, pretty darn amazing. Uh, he's got this YZ250 decked right out, um, all made up for woods. Right here, we're going down these hills, and to be honest, in the GoPro, it just looks flat. But, you know, you're coming down these mountains, and it's um, it's it's pretty sketchy. Like you got your your butt all the way back on the seat. Um, you're really balancing, trying to take it easy and not flipping over frontwards. So it, it's pretty sketchy. And we have to give each other some room because if you get out of control, you don't want to go flying and slam into the guy in front of you. See Drew down there. Uh, looks like he cleaned the hill pretty easily. Two days later, uh, we came back and it rained a little bit that morning. And we came back and did this trail the other way, and we had guys that had to turn around and go back because they couldn't make it up out of the, out of this valley. Like the, it's so steep, and just with a little bit of mo moisture, it, it just becomes it becomes almost impossible. The only way you got any traction is you'd have to get a little bit of momentum going, and then try to stay in the leaves as much as possible to make it up the hill. Like right here you can kind of see me bump over like there'll be a little rut right right there and that is I just can't explain to you guys how steep it is right here like you would be going up that trail and you'd hit that little rut and that was it like it was just and it was just a little bit of moisture it wasn't like it was crazy wet or a bunch of mud it was just just slick and you lose your momentum just like this you kind of got to get going again As you can see there's rocks all over uh, all over the dirt well, duh, you know, you're in a mountain. Mm. 
see right here I'm trying not to uh, get flipped over frontwards there we go hear any little snores I got a, a pit bull that looks like he's dreaming next to me while we're uh, editing this video so disregard that <laughs> Got some tired dogs laying around. We went for a long walk and run in the woods today. But these trails are just so much fun. I don't know if I'd call this so much hard enduro, but just uh, it's really a lot of fun. Like maybe it's not as difficult as hard enduro. Uh, it's got maybe a tad bit more flow, but yeah, it's really a lot of fun. There is definitely a hard enduro down here. Um, we rode a lot more of it later in the day, but like I said, my GoPro died, and I really missed out on a lot of good footage. But I mean, look 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 around in the trails. You can see the other peaks around. You're in these valleys, and it, it, there's a, a flowing creek down right next to you on, on my right here, and it's it's just awesome terrain. So much fun. We literally rode each day all day we'd show up at the riding spot between 9 10 o'clock and then we literally we didn't get back to the house till 6 or 7 that night I think I went through seven gallons of race gas and oh five or six gallons of um, recreational gas that makes it pretty pretty much 50 50 uh, 110 and rec gas ethanol free gasoline so we did a ton of riding it just stinks because the GoPros don't last long And I was too busy having fun to charge him. As you can see, Drew's pretty much gone. These locals are so good at this kind of riding, it's amazing. I gotta con these guys into coming up here so uh, we can return the favor. Take them, uh, take them on some good Michigan trails. Of course, I had to throw the guide not making it up the hill at the end. <laughs> he took us on a bunch of hills, we didn't make it, so. Yeah. Here we are, the last picture. Awesome. This was just a, a beautiful place. Thanks for tuning in, everybody.